Welcome to Customer Feedback Unplugged. I'm Estella Miso, Product Marketing Manager at NICE, and with me today is Jennifer Pacini, Director of Experience Consulting at NICE, to talk about how voice of the customer can be leveraged for a seamless digital transformation. So Jennifer, how does an organization's focus on omnichannel strategies align with their digital transformation journey, and how does VOC support this transformation? Most companies realize that their customers are leveraging multiple channels to interact with them, which is where Omnichannel comes in. Omnichannel is really about delivering similar or the same experiences in different channels. And so digital is an important part, channel as part of that. And for customers, it's their channel of choice when they want to be self-enabled uh, to uh, create their own experience. Um, but they do have some expectations. And so where customers need to start in, in understanding Omnichannel journey is understanding customer, the customer journey from each channel perspectives and how they interact. You can leverage VOC to understand what channels are being used today, um, their expectations around those channels, and then their preferences for the actions and tasks that they want to take within the individual companies they work with. And how did the integration of omnichannel VOC insights help improve CX overall? So if you think about the things that we learn from a contact center experience specifically, let's say that collectively we look at all the feedback received related to contact experiences and we look at it from uh, a reason for the call um, and we look to see how many of those calls are about something that they couldn't do within a digital channel, maybe like a password reset. Instead of looking at first contact resolution or first call resolution, we have to look across the omni-channel and say, how many steps do the customer have to go through to complete this? How many channels do they leverage to complete? Uh, so we're from an omni-channel perspective, we have to change our definition. And if something takes multiple contacts and it shouldn't, it's really creating a negative customer experience. Through VOC, we'll know from their feedback if they've hated that experience. Did the use of VOC for the organizations that you mentioned aid in enabling customers to independently resolve their issues? There's many companies that have shifted their focus to being completely digital or at least attempting to be completely digital. We work with one of those companies today and they still offer um, contact center experiences because callers are calling in. They offer uh, a robust website with details about how to interact with them and how to better leverage their product offering, but they still leverage their contact center to learn about where they need to improve the help that they're providing to their customers to their website. They do leverage their contact center to learn about what questions their customers have, where they're getting hung up within the digital space so that they can learn from that. They actually have monthly calls where they um, take what they've learned from the contact center and figure out where they need to improve the content of their website, uh, the content or the, the actions that customers can take through instructions, uh, where they can simplify things so um, they are improving their focus on self-enablement. That's really great. Thank you, Jennifer, for sharing your expert insights. Thanks for having me. This was a lot of fun.